Hi Virgos. Hi creators. So this is a seven day planet spread. Your mini life review based off of the planets we've got. And it's to teach you the days of the week do relate to each planet. We've got Sunday is sun. Monday is moon. Tuesday is Mars. Wednesday is Mercury. Jupiter is Thursday. Friday is Venus. And Saturn is Saturn day. Okay, so let's go with um, check your sun, moon, and rising for more personalized messages. Go to cafeastrology.com to find that. You will need your birth certificate and um, because on your birth certificate it tells you your birth time. You will need your birth time. This is a timeless reading and this is your sign that you need to understand right now from your higher self and guides because that's who I meditate on before um, I pull your cards. If this doesn't resonate, don't try to force it. It just you know, look for another message in another video if it doesn't um, fit with you. But if it does, claim it, okay? So let's get, let's get it, let's go. What, okay, Virgo, what is your greatest potential, talent, and how you can manifest it? Your greatest potential is building empires, is being disciplined and maybe uh your father uh, uh being a leader that is your greatest potential and talent okay virgo how you can manifest it more into your life um having structure sticking with your rules being disciplined and stable okay Moving on for the Monday, Moon Day. So this is for your present energy based off of the planets. And it's how presently you are feeling and what is going on around you based off that right now. And these cards that came out for each planet. Okay. This is how your guides um, are communicating it to me today. So Moon Day, Monday. <laughs> what is your current long-term dream? Is it attainable? Yes, it's definitely attainable. And temperance is balance. Um, your long-term dream is to maybe be a healer. Um, to have moderation and to have peace and harmony in your life. Your long-term dream. And this is definitely definitely attainable so what is your greatest challenge or obstacle to success and you got the death card okay so also let me look really quick and make sure because I didn't do that before Okay, so yes, you did. Okay, you got the lovers on on its day. Okay, that's great. And then what is the day for um, the third Tuesday? Um, it's Mars, so that's the chariot number. So no. And then that's not it, that's not it, okay. And then that's not it, okay, yes. You did get an extra lucky card on its planet day though, right here, that's important info, okay. Sorry, I had to make sure I was clear on that. Okay, so let's go back to, what is your greatest challenge and obstacle? And it's to transition into transforming yourself, ending something and beginning something new leaving the old person you were behind that was not serving you and and then moving on to become a higher version a highest version of yourself or it could be 
the death of a relationship. Not a true death, but like an ending. You know, breakups are technically like a death of a relationship because you're not they're not going to be in your life anymore. So, um, what is your greatest challenge or obstacle right now, Virgo? You're either going through a breakup or it's you ending some kind of behavior that was not serving you and learning something new, renewing yourself, regeneration, rebirth, transforming yourself into a highest, a higher version of yourself, okay? So that is your greatest obstacle or challenge to success right now. Becoming aware of that though, it makes it a lot easier and more, you know, I mean, especially with this being right here, you're extra lucky. Okay, Virgo. So this is Mercury's day. What do you need to learn or initiate? The moon. You need to get more in touch with your subconscious, um, your intuition. You need to tap into it more, maybe meditation. Um, be uh, more... Uh, less in fear. Um, you need to learn to follow your intuition more and to be less obsessed or paranoid or secretive. N trying not to have so many secrets or being tapped into your subconscious and your intuition more through meditation, you can achieve that. That is what you need to learn right now because it will uh, transmute any fears or illusions you have if you could do that. That is a strong message here from your higher self is that maybe meditating more um, or starting to meditate is something you need to learn right now for a go. Okay, so next we have... Um, how can you, this is Jupiter Day, how can you most advance your cause or impress others? Will you get your lucky break? Yes, 100%. The sun is the happiest card in the deck, okay? And it's on Jupiter's Day. Even though it's not Jupiter's card, it's still, how can you most advance your cause or impress others? Become more happy. Only do things you enjoy. Become enlightened. You will get your lucky break if you just get in touch with your inner child. That is what that is telling me. And you will be more successful. So this is the extra lucky card. So what is your future in love and significant relationship? So that's where you're luckiest right now. So that's really good because if you are going through a breakup, Virgo, this is showing that like you could get back into union or meet somebody new. And who, you know, I don't know who, but... The, the best way to, you know, they, everybody but you and me, say that to get over an old love is to find a new love. I mean, that's for somebody. I don't know. I don't know your life. But what is your future in love significant relationship you are thinking about right now? Is romance, a desire. Um, you're going to have a choice in love. Somebody is coming in. I don't know if it's somebody from the past or if it's somebody new, but you're going to have a lot of passion. And this is like a double yes, 100, because it is on Venus Day and this is the lover's card and that is Venus's card. Okay, that's extra important. So next we got Saturn. What is your greatest source of security, stability? What, um, not what? Your greatest limitation to overcome? Be more honest. The justice card is being truthful, cutting to the truth of matters. You see the knife. Um, being balanced. Your greatest source of security and stability is being truthful. And your greatest limitation to overcome, maybe you're going through legal matters. Don't trip because this is showing that you will come out on top if you, since you got this card, if you are having legal matters. 
if you are the one that is doing something bad, I suggest you change that because this would not be in your favor if it was you doing something bad. But if something's happening to you or you have contracts to sign or something, it's going to be in your favor. If you have any legal things going on, that's what this card tells me. Your greatest limitation to overcome. Um, also, maybe gaining more wisdom, maybe in meditation, because this is what you need to learn. Um, your greatest limitation to overcome could be getting in touch with your intuition because that is like a secret wisdom. Okay, Virgo, that is what I got for you. I'm going to pull a soul coaching card for you. Let's go to six angels of light, higher self, source, dishes, loved ones, calling Virgos, higher self, and guides, be show up. But Virgo needs to. See, show me this. Yep, there we go. Needs to. Oh, they're jumping. See. Action. Yes. I'm going to pull you one more. Miracles. What? What? Okay, here we go. I'm going to read out of the book, okay? Wow. Action. And it's shooting an arrow, like... You see that? Interesting. Okay. Action. Card meaning, the time is now. Don't hesitate, take action. Face your fear and do it anyway. Your soul wants you to know, of course, there are times when it's important to deliberate and think carefully about an action, but there are other times when you need to step up and just go for it. Now is the time. Listen from your heart. Look into, into fear's eyes with a calm, steely gaze and forge forward with certainty and power. Quicken your spirit by making decisions now. Affirmation, say after me. I step into my glorious future with determination and power. Okay. And we've got the ends. Miracle. Card meaning. Miracles occur in your life every day. Watch for and embrace them. As you notice and accept the small wonders in your life, greater gifts will come in abundance all around you. Your soul wants you to know, expect miracles. Praise and celebrate them when they appear, no matter how small. Be open to all allowing the creator to solve challenges for you in mysterious and wonder, wondrous ways, which if you tap into meditation, you will get that. Your creator will help you solve challenges and mysteries and wondrous ways for sure. Trust that everything goes together. That's so crazy. Trust that everything is unfolding graciously and perfectly in your life and let go of fear and doubt. Don't limit the way that miracles can appear in your life by having expectations. Be open for them to appear from sources beyond your imagination. Affirmation, say after me. My life is a miracle. Yes, claim it. That is a great reading. I hope you enjoyed. Please like, share, and subscribe. Come back and check out some more of my content. And bye for now.